live to do a 20 minute workout in your space and in my living room. Um, wanted to get together and just give everybody some options for workouts at home. Something you can do that doesn't require any equipment. So we're going to wait a few minutes and see if we can get some people online. So as you join in, just give me a little wave. Say hello. Let me know that you're here to join us. We are going to be doing a 20 minute low impact workout. We've got seven different exercises we're going to do. We're going to do three sets. So we've got plenty of little tiny breaks in there. Have some water close by. Um, if you tend to get a little sweaty during your workout, maybe grab a sweat towel and kind of wipe off some sweat as we go. Because this is going to be low impact, but that doesn't mean it's going to be super duper easy. Um, but we are going to take our time with it. We're going to go nice and slow and intentional on movements, and we're going to get a good workout. So it looks like Lauren is on there saying hi. I'm going to try to see if I can get this on my tablet as well so I can read it better than trying to read it from my laptop screen. So let me just see if I can pull it up on here as well and see what's going on. Oh, yes. So, I've got Lauren says hello. She's watching. Hi, Lauren. As y'all come on and join, and just give me a little hi. Let me know that you're here. Um, we'll get started here in a few minutes with our just a 20 minute low impact workout um, for you to do at home. So, I've just cleared a little space in my living room. I've kind of rolled my rug away and I've pushed the couch over to the side just a little bit just to kind of get it more out of the way. But I just wanted some more space to be able to just move around. Um, we definitely need that for everybody that's been working at home and just need that little mental break, a physical break from what you're doing just to kind of escape from, from the everyday thing that you might have going on. Um, maybe you've got the kids involved, the kids want to come do some of your workout with you. Um, but it's just low impact, we're just going to take your body through some full motions. We've got Alexis here, she says hi I'm here, thanks for doing this. I'm so glad that y'all could join me this morning and do a little quick workout. Um, like I said, it's going to be low impact, um, but doesn't mean that it's going to be super duper easy, but it's not going to be super duper hard. It's completely manageable. This is something good for all levels. You'll definitely get a workout from this and it's going to be a minute. We're going to do just three sets of seven different exercises. You're more than welcome to do more than three sets when we get done if you want to take some time and repeat through again and just do a few more reps of each exercise. But we're going to go through seven different ones um, for three, three sets each. Um, we'll be working for 40 seconds total for each exercise. We're going to rest for 15 seconds in between. And when we get to the end of your exercise number seven, we're going to rest for 45 seconds. So it gives you time to kind of stretch out a little bit, maybe catch your breath, um, grab some water, maybe you've got your sweat towel and you need to maybe wipe off some sweat off your brow um, just to keep it from running down into your face or to your eyes because hopefully you will get a little sweaty um, from this workout. So we'll get started here. And I'm glad that y'all can't really see a close-up of my toes because they look horrible, um, but no, no mani patties are going on here. Um, so I, I'm glad y'all can't see up close how bad my feet look right now. Um, but we'll start, I'm going to start my timer for, and we'll start in 40 seconds so that way it'll give some others time if they want to come join us. So like I said, we're doing seven exercises. Um, we're going to go for 40 seconds each, rest for 15 in between, before we go to the next exercise and when we finish all seven, we will have a 45 second break for you to um, get some water, wipe off your sweat. Is that Cindy Ehrman? Are you working out with me today, Cindy? I'm so excited to see you here. Um, we're going to start in about 15 seconds and I just want you, if you're on your floor, if you have a mat, it doesn't really matter. Um, just a space where you can kind of just Move around. So we're going to start at the end of my mat, and I just got my feet a little bit wide, so not shoulder yet. What I'm going to do is call it inch form, and we're going to add a shoulder tap to the top. So we're going to walk it down all the way here. When you get to your plank position, we're going to tap each shoulder, and 
and then we're just going to walk back to where we started. So we got about 30 more seconds to go here. We're just going to walk down the plank, shoulder tap on each side, and then walk all the way back up. And then going back down, walk it all the way back to your plank, keeping your abs in here tight, tapping both shoulders, walk it back up to the top. Let's go again, walk it all the way down, get to your high plank, shoulder tap on each side, and then walk it back up. Nice deep breath in, let's 15 seconds rest here. Come all the way out. I'm gonna turn and face towards you because we're gonna do two knee ups and one squat. So if you like this, you're gonna go one knee, one knee, and then we're gonna squat down. So starting 40 seconds, so two knees up, and then just squat down, two knees, one squat. So we're just going here, two knees, one squat, we're gonna go for 40 seconds total. We got about 25 more seconds to go. Getting through that range of motion with your body, opening everything up here. Two knees, one squat, we got about 10 more seconds. We're breathing through it. Take your time with it. Go at your pace and rest. We're going to go back down to your mat, so we're going to go face down. We're going to be doing a push-up, so I'm going to show you on my knees. We're going to do one push, and then we're doing a T-stand on each side, so there's two of those. So, starting from here for push-up position, you'll go all the way down for your push-up, come up. I'm going to come up on my toes, and I'm going to rotate out one side, and then the other. You can certainly stay on your knees here. You do one push, and then come up and rotate out and stay on your knees. Totally up to you. You can come up to your toes and do your push-up, and then rotate out. Make it your workout. I'm going to stay here on my knees for my push-up, and then I come up on my toes, and I'm rotating out for my T-stand. You're doing good. Work for your level. You've got about five seconds. And rest. Come all the way back up. You've got 15 seconds rest here. Just shake it all out. If your heart rate's a little elevated, just breathe. We are going to be doing a lunge with a leg lift. So I'm going to step forward. I'm going to step behind me with my lunge. So I'm stepping behind. When I come together, I'm just going to take that same leg and lift out to the side. So I'm stepping back with my other side. Come together. Lift out. Back to the side. Step back. Lunge down. Lift out. Lunge back. Come in, lift out. Now, other side. Lunge back, together, lift. Lunge back on the other side, together, and lift. Lunge back, together, and lift. Lunge back, together, and lift. Rest. We are doing a high plank sit back. So, I want you to go down to your mat. We're going to do a high plank with a sit back. And then we're going to add two knees. So it will look like this. You're in high plank. You're going to come back and sit down into your glutes. Stay up high. The knees do not come down. Come back to your plank. You've got one, two. So high plank. Sit back into your glutes. Come back to high plank. One, two. Sit back into it. Come back. Two knees. Come back to your high plank. Sit back into those glutes. Come back to high plank. Two knees. Sit back. Back to plank. Two knees in. Working core here. And a little bit of legs. Sit back. And then come all the way up to your top. 15 second rest here. Shake it out. That was a tough one. Next we're going to be doing a lateral lunge with a curtsy lunge. So you'll step out to the right or left side. So you're just going to step out into your lunge here. And then we're going to do behind with that same leg coming diagonal. So I'm going to go the opposite side this time. So push out, feet together, step behind in diagonal, and then feet together. Go to the other side. So we're just going to keep alternating. And then lateral lunge to the other side. Curtsy lunge here. And then switch legs. You got it. Feet together. 
Diagonal back, other side. Lateral, and then curtsy, and together. Rest it out. We're going back down, I like to get up and down, up and down. So back to your mat. This one's gonna be a bird dog exercise. So you will be on all fours. We're gonna take and extend out opposite leg and right arm. Arms to minor reach, come back down, go to the other side. You'll hold for a few seconds at your top, keeping that core pulled in nice and tight, and then just moving it side to side. Keeping your abs in tight, working on core here, opposite leg, opposite arm, reach out, hold for a second or two, come back down, switch sides. This is your exercise number seven, so you'll get a little break after this one to kind of rest and get your water. We're almost there. Two seconds. And rest. Come all the way up to standing. This is your 45 seconds. You can get your water, shake it out. Maybe you've got some sweat you need to wipe off. Um, if you're like me, my nose starts to drip when I start working out. So maybe you have to wipe your nose. You're going to start from the top. With those inchworms to your shoulder tap, we're starting in about 20 seconds. So a nice little time to breathe here. Get ready for your round two. Starting in 10 seconds, your inchworm are just walking down the plank. We're going to tap our shoulders on each side and then come all the way back up. So ready, walking down. Going 40 seconds here, walking down the plank. Shoulder tap on each side. Walk all the way back up, all the way to standing, pull back forward down, walking to your plank, shoulder tap, walking all the way back up to standing, and then back down again, we're halfway there, high plank position, shoulder taps on each side, walking all the way up, 10 more seconds, you've got enough time for one more, walk it down, plank on each Tap on each side and rest. Exercise number two, we've got two high knees, one squat. So two knees up, one squat. Get ready for it, starting in three, two, one. So two knees, one squat. So we're pushing those hips back. Sit down like you're sitting into an imaginary chair. So you're pushing your hips back, reaching for it, and then sit down into it. You got it. Got two knees up, and I'm just kind of going to the outside because I like to open up my hip a little bit more, get through a bigger range of motion. You can certainly have the knot in front, and then go down for your squat. I just like to go out a little bit wider here. Got less than 10 seconds. Two seconds and rest. That push up with your T-stand is next. We are going back down to the floor. So push up with a T-stand on each side. I'm going to stay here on my knees and then I'll go to my toes from my plank to my T-stand. So whole body goes down towards the floor, come up. I'm coming up to my high plank so I can reach out and do my T-stand on each side. So one push up, T-stand on each side. You can certainly stay down on your knees the whole time. I have some who like to just keep one knee down and they'll extend out the other side and then they'll reach down and go the other side. So pick one that works for you. This is your workout. Short burst of energy here. We're almost there, less than 10. So one push and rest. Coming all the way back up to the top. We are doing a lunge and leg lift. So stepping behind your lunge, feet are together. I like to have my mat behind me so I step way over it. So I'm going to the other side, lunge and lift. So you have to take a big step back, bringing your back knee down towards the floor. Big step, knee comes down. And then when you come to the return, you're lifting out. Reverse lunge, lift, switch sides. You're doing good.
Just keep breathing. Keep moving. Low impact today. I said you didn't even need your shoes today. Let those feet go free. You're at home enjoying the day and rest. We're going to high plank in that sit back with your two knees. So down to your mat. Doing high plank position. Come up on your toes. We're going to sit down into your glutes. Your knees hover above the floor. Come in. You've got two knees in. Sit back. Back to plank. Two knees. Sit back. Knees in. Sit back. Y'all see my cat behind me? He's like, what's going on in there? I'm tired of being locked out of that room. Let me in there. Sit back, high plank, two knees. We're almost there. Stay with me. You're doing good. Two seconds. And rest. All the way back up to standing. Shake it out. We are doing a lateral lunge with your curtsy. So stepping out, we're alternating sides. So stepping out laterally, pushing into your hip here, come back that same leg, comes behind you in that diagonal, and then switch sides. You got it. Working sides here. Push into that hip on your lateral, come down and behind. You're doing good. Take your time with it. Big lunges here, big steps. You got it, you're more than halfway there. Just keep moving, you've got this. Less than 10. I think I got time for one more. And rest. We're going back down to your plank. This is your number seven. So we're almost down with round two. This is that bird dog, you're on all fours. Just alternating your lifts between your legs and your arms. Nice solid base here. Lifting up and alternating. Extend out. Your abs should be tight. Working a little balance here. Working on your core. Keeping a nice strong stance in the center. Your knees should be open a little here when you're on all fours. Extend out, reaching out opposite sides. Keeping your core tight. Almost there. You got about 10 more seconds. You're doing good. Almost finished with round two. And rest. 45 seconds here. Get your water. Maybe you're taking your towel and wiping off your sweat. Trying to catch your breath. Get your heart rate back down. Get up and move around. We have Susan that's watching. Hi, Susan. I haven't seen you in a long time. And Mary. Our inchworms are next up, starting off our round three. This will be our last round, and you're finished with your 20 minute workout. We're starting at eight. So, from the edge of your mat, my feet are about shoulder width apart, just folding over, walking all the way to plank, shoulder tap at the bottom. So walk it all the way to plank, shoulder tap on each side, come up to your top standing position, and then go back down. Walking all the way to high plank, shoulder tap on each side, walk it back up. You're doing good. We're about halfway there. Walk it down, tap on each side, walk back up. Coming back down, walking all the way out to your plank. Tap sides, come back up. We have time for one more, two seconds, and rest. Exercise number two, we've got two knees, one squat. So I'm just opening up my legs here a little bit, taking a little bit wider than my hips. Doing two knees first and then one squat. Ready, here we go. So we've got two knees, one squat, two knees, and a squat. Remember, you're pushing those hips back. Sit down into your imaginary chair. Open up through your range of motion. Get those knees way up there. Come all the way up to your chest. 
and then sit down low in your squat. Big motions here. Challenge your body. So much good it does for us, not just physically, but mentally as well. Got five more seconds. Two, one, rest. We've got our push up with your T stand. So going back down, face down on your mat. I'm staying here with, on my knees for my push ups. I'm making my whole body come down towards the floor. So you can gently do these on your toes. I come up to my toes for my T stand. So I'm just pulling up and rotating on each side. You can stay on your toes for your push ups or go back down to your knees. Coming up, rotating side to side, and back down. You got about 15 more seconds. You're doing good. And up, rotating side to side. One more. And all the way up to the top. Shake it out. Nice deep breath here. We've got our reverse lunge for the leg lift. I'm just stepping just over the one side of my mat so that when I come back, my foot goes all the way across and hits the floor on the other side. Come up and then lift. Same thing on the other side. Lunge back, lift, lunge, and lift, lunge, and lift. Let me tell you, if you don't have those little mini bands that goes around your legs, like around the top of your knees, if you have any of those mini bands, this is a great exercise for your glutes and your outer thighs. Put those bands to use. Great way to add those in. Five more seconds. One more. And rest. We're going high plank to a sit back, and then we're adding two knees. So back down to your mat. We're going to a high plank position. Starting in two, one. High plank, sit down into your knees, hover over, come in, bring your knees to chest. Sit back into it, come back up to plank, two knees. Sit back into it, and up, two knees. Sit back, high plank, two knees in. Sit back, two knees in, high plank, sit back. Your knees do not touch the floor here. I want you to work that core for almost here. You got this. Two more seconds. And rest. Bring it all the way up. We're doing lateral lunge with a curtsy lunge. So I'm alternating sides. Stepping out to the right or left. So curtsy lunge, just push into that hip, come together, taking that same foot and going behind in a diagonal, and then go to the other side. Same foot, go diagonal behind, curtsy lunge. Lateral, and then curtsy, other side. Lateral, curtsy lunge, other side. Lateral, Curtsy, other side. Lateral, curtsy lunge, other side. Lateral, curtsy lunge. Let's do one more. Lateral, curtsy lunge, and rest. Go back down to your mat. Last exercise of your set, and this will be your 20 minutes. So we're going back to those bird dogs on all fours. Open up those knees a little, and then just alternating your lift from side to side. Your abs want to stay in nice and tight here, keeping your core strong, working on abs, working on balance. You got this. Last one of your set, and we're finished with your 20 minutes. You're doing good. Stay with it. We are almost there. You got 10 more seconds. Alternating from side to side. Keep your abs pulled in. And rest. 
Ding, ding, ding. That was the end of your 20 minutes. So just give it a little curl here and roll up your back. Nice and round. And then bring it up and let it slow down. Pick your chin up. Look straight ahead. Nice movement for the body today. 20 minutes and hopefully you got a good solid workout here. Relax that on. Just sit down into your glutes and stretch it out. And then take a moment to breathe. Back to all fours, just come up on your toes, if your body's in high plank, and then slowly lower yourself down. Relax your feet, pick your chin up, chest up, look straight ahead, stretching out through your abs, through your hip flexors. Hold here. And then bring it back down. We're just going to come up on our toes. I'm going to come up on my knees, I'm going to slide my hands down to my knees. I'm going to take myself up and just roll up nice and slow, one vertebrae at a time. Take a nice deep breath in, exhale out, relax those shoulders, let it go. Good 20 minute workout for you to do, repeat this workout anytime during the week. Um, just a solid full body movement, good for your body. I know I have a little sweat on, my heart rate's a little high, so I know I did some good for me, I hope it did some good for you. Leave me some comments, some feedback, how you liked it, and we'll try to do more of these every week and kind of mix it up for you. Have a good day, guys.